why do you think people should tune into season three and also catch up on the other seasons if they have yet to? Oh my gosh. Well, I think definitely start from one so you can follow our journeys, like who we are. And I feel like season three really dive deep into our personal lives too. And I think it took a little bit. They wanted to introduce us as, you know, characters, I guess, and introduce the audience to, um, you know, mainly the Oppenheim group. And now they're really showing our personal lives too. And it's digging, it's digging deep and it's getting juicy <laughs> for sure. Absolutely. What's the, what's the juiciest thing about this show? Like, how does this happen like this? Because you guys, it's so great. You know what? Like, it's so funny because before we started filming season two and three, the girls, we all said to each other, like, how are we going to film 16 episodes? Like, how, are, how's our lives like that fascinating? And like, how are we going to get drama? And honestly, like you put all of us together and the high stress of you know, we all have egos. We're all in this insane business and, and you're filming a TV show and you have your personal lives. So the drama just happens. I don't know how, but it just comes. <laughs> well, it's perfect. You guys are all, everyone there is likable, but they, everyone has their own stories. And so we're following everyone. Um, we see a little foreshadowing when you catch the bouquet <laughs> wedding. And here we are now talking. That's the end of season three. We see that. Um, what is that like watching that and knowing where you are right now? It's so funny because I was watching, um, I was watching this with Tarek and I was like, Oh my God, honey, like, thank goodness you proposed because I talk about getting engaged and be, and you proposing to me way too much. And it's almost embarrassing. So thank you for doing it because oh, I would have been like sitting there like, Oh my God. And poor thing. He had the ring for like a few months. He would have been like, oh, I wish I would have done it. So thank goodness he did it before. Thank you, honey. But yeah, you know, it's surreal for me, like being a fiance and knowing that I'm going to be Mrs. Al Musa. I, I, I'm on top of the world right now. This is the best feeling. And I love being a fiance. Do you feel like that's some advice to give to women out there that are dating? Just put it into the universe and it is going to happen. Manifest it. You know, for me, I truly believe that my soulmate was out there and I really never stopped giving up on love and true love. And I went through a couple of rough periods dating and, you know, just dating these, you know, a-holes and dating these guys that just, you know, don't commit. And thank God they didn't because now I'm with my soulmate. But you know, it was like a lot of ups and downs. And right before Tarek, I went through, you know, where a guy was dating another girl and was also dating me. And he had a girlfriend in another state. And I had just found that out. I was just like, I'm done with men. And then yeah. I met Tarek and like everything changed. It, it feels good. And you're smiling this entire time. Every time you mention him, it's, so it's a positive. He's I my, know best friend, my best friend in the whole world. Mm -hmm. I love that so much. And I know you guys just celebrated the engagement in Mexico recently. <laughs> How was that? How was the trip? And what was the celebration like for you? Is it still all surreal? It really is surreal. I think, you know, for me, like I've never been a fiance and like, this is, but this is something that like, I mean, most women, I think you wait for your entire life and to know that Tarek loves me so much that he wants me to be his wife and, and he's committing that much to me and he made that decision. It just makes everything even more special. And we knew it was going to happen. I just didn't know when. And, you know, I feel like every day I wake up and I'm celebrating even, even before I was a fiance, like I love him so much, like a ring, you know, it just shows his commitment even more, but I, I mean, I would have been happy. I mean, well, no, let's say I didn't want to get married. <laughs> no, 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 hold on. <laughs> Let me stop myself. You know, I wanted him to do it when he was ready. I was ready from the beginning. So I wanted, I wanted him to be ready. And yeah, I think every day I'm like, Miss, I'm going to be Miss El Musa. And every day he'll call me like Miss El Musa. And like, so we're just really happy. Can I see the ring since you mentioned yeah. ring? Ooh. So pretty. I know. I love it. I just scared it. Like, it's mine. He did so good. It's clean. It's beautiful. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay. The best part about this too, wedding planning. Have we started? Do we know what we want? Are we reaching out to designers? Are they reaching out? What's, what's happening? It's so fun. Um, yeah, I can't, I'm not going to reveal who's reaching out to me, but I have two designers that reached out that want to design my gown and they're both like insane. Like my top, I have the like top three and the top two, the top three actually all want to design my gown. So I'm like, I woke up like so excited today. I got a message from one of them yesterday. I found out one of them wanted to do it. I started crying because like to be in this moment, this like fairy tale moment for me, never knowing that this was going to happen. Now, like my top designers are reaching out to me and it just, it's such a surreal moment and it's very humbling for me. And, um, 
I'm just ecstatic and wedding planning. I'm so excited. We're trying to lock down the location right now. We're going between like somewhere in California, maybe Cabo. And, you know, originally I always thought it'd be Italy, but I think you know, because everything going on in our families, I think we want to stay more local. Um, I'm digging even deeper. Uh, are we <laughs> thinking what time of the year do we know we want a summer wet? Like, what are we thinking? Within the next year, for sure. Um, yeah. Probably closer to next summer. I want. We want to make sure COVID and everything is gone. We don't want to have a COVID wedding. I want to have a normal bachelorette party. Um, I want to have a normal bridal shower. I want everything to be like this is my first and only time getting married, and I want it to be right. How happy is your family and friends and everyone that this moment is happening for you? Because obviously it's making you unbelievably happy. You know, my, some of my best friends, like they're like my sisters and they're my family. And we've all gone through this awful dating world. And I think for, I give them hope. And I think everyone's going through a rough time right now. And I think Tarek and I brought happiness to everyone's lives. And, you know, my parents, they just you know, I think every parent hopes that you're with someone is, that's just so amazing as Tarek. He's so loyal to me. He protects me. He takes care of me and, um, they see how happy we are. So my parents are so ecstatic and Tarek actually was more nervous to ask them for to, to, if he could marry me than like to even ask me. So, uh, it was such a cute little story. My mom told me he like ran in, he was late and he was like, okay, I just gotta like, I gotta, I gotta tell you guys something. I'm proposing to your daughter and this is how I'm going to do it. And he was all like flustered and stressed and was like in and out because he had to come meet me for yoga. So we had to do it when I always know where he is. He always knows where I am. We share a calendar. So it's like, you know, for him to sneak up to my parents' house to ask them was like a pretty tough moment for him. Yeah. He had to find that little window of time. Yes. And they lived like two hours away. So it had to be like a four hour, a four hour time slot. Um, have we considered televising the wedding at all? Both of you have your own shows. I know that's a big decision to make. Would you ever say yes to that? We've actually talked a little bit about it. We've gone back and forth. And, you know, for me, like, this is, this is my wedding. This is such a personal, intimate moment. And I don't know if I want to be mic'd up. And I don't know if I want my guests to be mic'd up. And my parents have to feel like they can't come in the shot because I'm filming something, you know? And... So I don't, I just don't know. It's something we really have to sit down and think about. And obviously we'd film it privately and then probably show the world, but to have cameras there and film it for one of our networks, you know, we filmed the engagement. I, I obviously didn't know it was, it was going to be an engagement, but looking back now, like we got to enjoy our romantic weekend, but it definitely takes away from it a little bit. Gotcha. I don't that know. You forget the cameras are there, and I, I'm used to cameras being around, but it's still like you know you're mic'd up, you know that the cameras are there. So I don't know. It's a big decision to make. That's your moment. You got yeah. It's a big decision. We'll check back in with you. Soup closer. Check back in like six months. <laughs> <laughs> um, true or false? Were you already looking into rings prior into the dating? Did you guys do that? Was that a real thing? We looked at rings about three months in. We went and tried on some rings, yes. But I knew it wasn't going to happen that soon. I And, you know, I knew that it had to be right for him. And he had to be, he had to, like, have that moment where it was like, okay, I'm ready for her to be my wife. So, yeah. you know, I think, like, Tarek's not a dreamer. He's not like, oh, when we get married and if it happens, like, he's like a doer. So, like, when he decided, he just committed, like, 100%. So, I think, like, he said it, it was a couple months of planning. He knew about three months ago. Oh, I love that so much. Will we see any of the girls at the wedding, if it's televised or in photos, the Selling Sunset ladies, will they be coming to the wedding? All of them, I hope, yes. I plan to invite everybody from the cast, for sure. Um, still, again, on the show, Seeing Yourself. I know we touched on it when we first got hopped on here. Seeing Yourself talk about the engagement so much or wanting that engagement to happen. What goes through your mind now? And that's part of your love story right there, too. Yeah, you know, watching it back, I'm, well, here's the thing too, like Tarek can, can't film with me. So, you know, a lot of my life is Tarek. So I talk about him a lot because I can't show you guys my life with him. So I feel like I'm always constantly talking about him and bringing him up, but he's such a huge part of my life that that's all I have. So, right. you know, talking about what I want for my future. And I think the girls, they always knew that I love love so much and I love weddings and I'm, I'm such a hopeless romantic that... They always bring it up to me. Do you think it's going to happen? When do you think it's, it's going to happen now? And then I start getting in my, my head like, ooh, maybe it's going to happen. Oh, maybe he's going to do it here. And, you know, so 
it's funny uh, watching it back. I just laugh at myself. I'm like, oh my God, Heather, really just be patient. <laughs> so is there contractually or is there a reason why he hasn't been on the show with you or you're able to show that? What, what is the behind the scenes on that? I mean, I've just been telling the truth. Like it's our networks, you know, it's, you know, it's the networks. And, but I have, you know, I've told a couple other people that, um, because HGTV got to film the engagement, he gets to now film with me on Selling Sunset if we get a season four. So season four, Tark will be filming with me. We don't know what exactly, but we do know that that was a negotiation. Good negotiation to put in there. You want to include the love of your life. No, I do. He's such a big part of my life. And we're actually, you know, we're working on projects together. We're flipping a house together down here in Newport. So I want to be able to bring the audience into that part of my life as well. Would we ever see you two together on your own show later on down the road? I hope. I, yeah. I mean, that would be like ideal and to get to film with my best friend every day. And, um, you know, we don't know exactly what the concept would be. I want to focus on selling sunset in my career and, and he's so busy with his two shows that I think it would probably be like down the line further. Yeah. Do you ever worry when doing the, the way the format that you shoot and he shoots and everything else that people are too involved in your relationship and it might mess with it sometimes, especially on selling sunset, you guys as women are, we're talking about our relationships. Do we yeah. worry about that? Tark is so supportive and he's so understanding, especially, you know, he's, he's doing this with me and he's seeing like and right after like a scene or right after something happens, like I call him and I involve him. And so he guides me along the way because he has been on TV and in the spotlight for, you know, 10 years. So, and I'm new to all this. So everything that's being thrown at me, it's a lot to process. And right. I do see how it could affect things, but he's my best friend. We tell each other everything with the best communication. So he's just along for the ride with me and he helps guide me. So let's break down the drama. Ooh, okay. How we, <laughs> you were touching on obviously Chriselle's divorce. That is a storyline. That's uh, a big one for this season with a couple of the girls questioning what really happened, kind of taking the side of her ex-husband. Um, some of the comments, what are your feelings about those that you were hearing? Oh, I mean, that was a rough moment. Like I said, like I got to watch everything unfold like you guys did. And oh, hearing some of the things that the girls were saying, oh, I mean, I think it's better to kind of zip it rather than speak your opinion on something that you weren't involved in. And especially them not being friends with Chriselle and not hearing her point of view. I think things should have just been left unsaid. You know, I chose, like, I'm not best friends with Chriselle. I'm friends with her. We, we love each other. We care about each other. But I wasn't by her side through the whole thing. So right. I chose to not comment on a lot of things. And I also chose to kind of step back and let her take her time to process everything and, and without bombarding her with questions like everyone else was. But, you know, it's, it's tough to see. And it's tough to see her going through that. And then you have some of the girls making comments about things they don't know. And yeah. it's out there for the whole world to see. And it makes it escalates the divorce even more and then causes more drama. So it's just one more thing I don't think she needs to deal with. Yeah. And, and I feel like maybe you can kind of even feel more for her knowing that, you know, there was a child involved in this. She was a stepmother. You will be a future stepmother as well. Have you spoke to her? Have you heard from her and talked to her about anything? I just want to make, is she good? I mean, yeah. obviously it's a lot to take in. It is a lot to take in. I just saw um, most of the cast last week. We did a birthday celebration for her and Mary. And, you know, she's a strong woman. And I think I'm so proud of her for putting her story out there and letting the audience in. It's not easy to be filming a reality show while you're going through a divorce and hearing what everyone else is saying and gossiping and rumors. And she had to keep her composure and um, stay true to herself and, um, yeah, being a future stepmom, I talk about it in the show and you build such a bond with the children. And if I was all of a sudden ripped out of their lives, it would be something that I couldn't even imagine right now. When you look at her as, uh, you know, working with her on set and then offset, how strong of a human is she from what you've seen? And, and how is it with her, you know, kind of like not listening to what everyone's saying outside? You know, she's one of the strongest women I've ever met. And also, you know, I've talked a lot to Tarek about his public divorce. He went through this as well and being bombarded with people just saying these awful things about you and speculating about things that they have no clue about. So I think for her, 
I don't know what she's done. If it was from, if it was me, I would choose to not read it. I think right. she probably does the best she can to maybe not feed into things, but she obviously has to stick up for the truth as well. So, you know, I commend her. She's a beautiful woman, a beautiful soul. And uh, what she's going through is not easy, especially like the whole world is following along. So it's tough and I'm proud of her. I know we got to get out of here, but what's the one thing that you've learned so far and maybe what Tarek's learned about you so far throughout COVID while we're quarantining and is there something new you learned about him? God, you know what? I learned that I love him more than anything because we like we've spent not one day apart in six months, like not one day apart. Like, Oh, I think he went to Arizona one night, but besides that, like we've spent every day together, basically, you know, 24 seven and we're just even closer friends and closer lovers and even more of soulmates. Like I just couldn't say anything better like that, that our experience through COVID, but you know, no, cause we were open books with each other from the very beginning. Like we honestly were, we, every single night we sit and we carve out like at least two to three hours to just sit and talk about our day, talk about our life, talk about our dreams, talk about our goals every single night for the last year. Oh, I love that. So you guys know each other through and through. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I was thinking there was going to be something like that he does all of a sudden that annoyed you. Like what did, where did this come oh, from? <laughs> you know what? Like I said, he was so open with me from the yeah. beginning and I was with him. He's messy. He's not dirty though, but he's a messy man. So I'll like run behind him. Cause I'm a super perfectionist with like my house and organization. So I'll run behind him and kind of like picking things up and putting things away. And like, he's funny. He'll be like, honey, where's this? And I know exactly where it is. I'm like, honey, like he's like a child. I take care of him, but he takes care of me in so many ways, so it's fine. 